Okay, that's probably enough um, time to actually just, just sub in numbers. You might have used the calculator, which is fine. Um, what is the answer that you get out when you evaluate the sum of the first 101 terms? What do you get? Do you get 5,151? Yeah. You do, don't you? Okay. Which is what we should have expected because it's this plus 101, right? Now, here's what perplexes me about this, and I want you to think about it with me. We approach the first problem by pairing, okay? And then we develop the formula with that same pairing strategy. But then I gave you a problem which clearly can't be paired, right? If you have an odd number of terms, there will be that guy in the middle, right? Uh, I guess in this case it would have been 51, right? And he doesn't pair up with anyone, okay? But the formula still works. Hmm. I sort of expect it to break down in some way because when you have a look at this, see this guy over here, right? n divided by 2, in your case, this one we just tried, is 101 divided by 2. And this is not a whole number. It's um, 50 and a half, right? So it seems like it would introduce a fraction into here. Why is that a problem? Why is it a problem to introduce a fraction into this formula for our problem? They're all whole numbers. You should not have any fractions. But sure enough, when you evaluate it, you don't get any fractions. Why is that? Have a look. Look, look, look carefully. Because when you um when you divide 102 by 2, the denominator of 101 over 2. Then you get an even number in the end, so you just multiply it by 101. Okay, hold on a second. I think I get your logic, but I'm not sure where you got that 102 from. Where's the 102? Oh, um, from 2a minus plus n minus 202? 202? Is 202, is that what you're saying? Oh yeah, sorry. Wait, no. Wait the 2a is just, is just 2, right? So where's the 102? come from we're on the right track this this has something to do with it but I think we're slightly a little bit off on the edge Jasmine what are you thinking um, maybe the two the, the two a maybe <laughs> okay so this this is tricky this is tricky now let me suggest to you um, the two a does something have does have something to do with it okay because two clearly gives you some evenness right well that's what you'd expect the really wonderful thing is, it's not just that this is even. Have a look at this guy here, n minus 1, right? Do you remember I said to you, the problem was, oh, gross. If n is odd, if n is odd, then an odd number divided by 2 won't be a whole number, right? But look at this guy. If n is odd, what do you know about n minus 1? Yeah. It has to be even, right? This is going to be even, this is going to be even. So if you've got even numbers in there, they're going to overcome the fact that you've got this division by 2. Does that make sense? It's why you end up with this whole number, no matter what happens, no matter how many terms you actually stick in there.